Rapid, one of the best flippers of the modern series of Robot Wars. Now it's your chance to build one. Welcome to Build Your Own Rapid. To make this Rapid you will need the following. Some grey card, like so. A pencil. This knife. Don't forget the cutting mat as well. A pair of scissors. A ruler. Glue. Some gold card. Cellar tape. Duct tape, black preferably. Some hot melt glue sticks to go with your hot melt glue gun. some plastic and some tin foil. I will also be using these Lego wheels. This is because I always use Lego wheels nowadays on my cardboard models to make sure that they work properly. Here's Donald Thump for example. First you need to download a sheet that has all the dimensions on. There's a link to this in the description below. But to start you off, if you didn't want to do that immediately, here's something to start you. I personally use guesswork throughout this video, guessing the angles and you know just generally making it up as I go along. I cut out as I went along so you need to get your scissors after you've drawn out the base and cut it out once you've taped and duct taped it. Then get your craft knife and cut out the holes for the wheels. Now this is a step that you may wish to do if you're using Lego wheels. If you've already drawn the wheels onto the base then this step doesn't apply to you. If you are cutting out the wheel holes you should have something that looks like this. Now you can put the wheel holes anywhere, I found later on that the further back they are the better. So um, just make sure that your wheels can actually fit within the wheel holes and make sure that they're not poking through too much, this is a step we can sort later on. Next I made the flipper, so you draw out the flipper, uh, then you duct tape over one side, but before you sellotape the other side, cut it out, measure up a bit of tin foil, and then you can literally just tear the tin foil to the right size. You might want to tear just a bit bigger than you actually need, uh, so you can wrap the tin foil around to the back of this flipper piece. To fix it to the cardboard, apply glue to uh, one of the pieces, um, preferably the cardboard instead of the tin foil. Then fold the tin foil round, and then you'll want to tape over the top of it. So tape over the front, and then go on to do the back as well. This will help to hold it on. Rapid's flipper arm is actually bent, so make a slight bend a certain amount up the flipper wedge. Um, this will be in the instruction sheet and then just measure up, make sure you've got the right angles on your base. There's a lot of back and forth in this video, so next we're going to glue the wheels on. I'm using two big wheels at the back and two smaller wheels at the front. I've built up the wheels at the back um, so that it is raised just enough to make sure that the wheels only stick through the bottom of the base very slightly. You don't want too high a ground clearance after all. Once you've done that you should have something that looks like this, all four wheels are now on the machine. So now we can start building up the bodywork. First you're going to want to make the two side panels. To do this you need to make the shape uh, using the instructional sheet that is in the description and it's just going to be uh, glued along the side there. So you will need a bonus pen, uh, the colour grey, to just colour in these panels. I forgot to mention this to start with. Then tape over these in the usual way, sellotape on the front, duct tape on the back. Then cut these out. And here are these cut out as uh, you can see one side is black duct tape, the other is coloured in grey. So these now need to be glued onto your chassis. Remember not to stick these on straight up, these need to be angled very slightly outwards like an open umbrella upside down if that's a good analogy, which I'm pretty sure it isn't. Once you've done this, you need to make the back panel. Again, this will be on the sheet. You colour this grey, tape it, sellotape on the front, duct tape on the back, cut it out, and then you need to attach it 
to the other panels. Next, make up the supports for the inside. This is also on the sheet. And you need to attach these down at the center of the robot. Now make sure you've got enough space in between them for the flipper to rest on either side. I've created these in such a way that they go over the top of the different panels for the wheels, so that should work. Once these are glued in, you need to make the back panel, which is, uh, as you can see, on the back already of mine because I skipped a step in the actual recording. This is coloured grey, taped and cut out and stuck. It's the same as everything else, just do that, okay? So now we need to make some of the panels to go on the sides and these are of course gold. This is where the gold card comes into play. You need to attach these to another bit of grey card using glue and then draw out the shape provided on that sheet. Now to help support these you're going to need to do the plastic bits next. So take a bit of plastic, I've actually swapped mine for something a bit thicker um, and you need to cut out the correct shapes as provided uh, in the instruction sheet. When you've done that, they should look something like this. Uh, you then attach these with glue once again to the sides. They're going here and here. And here's that step finished. As you can see, they are on the sides. Now we've got gaps at the back, so you need to make the plastic sections to go into the back corners here and here. So uh, again, on the sheet, have a look, they'll be there. At this point it was getting late, so I finished it all up, so I'll just walk you through it. I've attached the two gold sections to the plastic bits. Uh, as you can see, these are now done. Uh, we've also got the flipper now attached. I've glued and taped it, so you tape first, then I glue around the edges to make sure that the tape stays. I've also made this tape insert to make sure it's got a limit to how far it can flip, otherwise it's going to look a bit like it did at the end of that fight in the final. I've also included a two pence piece to weight down the flipper. This makes it uh, stay nice and close to the ground and uh, gives it the overall best effect. And there it is done. So last night when I finished it off, I wasn't overly happy with it. I didn't think many of the angles looked right. This morning looking at it, I can see some of the angles aren't right, but I'm actually very pleased with how this came out. It is a very difficult shape to try and master and I think I've not done badly and I hope you haven't either. So good luck, happy building and enjoy your rapid 